we now come to a concept called magnetic declination and magnetic inclination and this magnetic inclination is also known as angle of dip okay is also known as angle of dip now to understand this let us use this ball okay so this is a basketball i'll say that this represents the earth fine now what happens this this tip of the ball this i consider to be my geographical north do we understand geographical north okay and my 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 angle of dip is somewhere here right it, it is it is at 78.79 what is that 70 what 79.74 uh, north. north that was the latitude and and so 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 just just try to form this figure that it is not kind of exactly here right otherwise its latitude would have it's it, it, it's not just here it, it is it has come down a bit okay it has come down a bit and it is seven, uh, how many degrees west no no Longitude, longitude, 79.7 degree, 4 degree north and 71.4 degree west. So, 71 point, you, you understand how the uh, longitudes have been drawn? Hmm? You know that. There is one 0 degree that passes through Greenwich, right? That That is 0 degrees. And then, then uh, you have drawn... 360 degrees so that is uh, 1 degree 2 degree so longitudes are are the great circles which are like this right what do you mean by great circle so all of them are the biggest circle that you can draw on this sphere why because they they pass through the diametrically opposite points of the sphere is it not if if i were to i i were to draw draw a circle like this if I were to draw a circle like this, it will not be a great circle. Why? Because it does not pass through the two diametrically opposite points. Fine. So those are the longitudes and the latitudes are drawn like this and only your equator is a great circle. Otherwise, the latitudes are progressively decreasing circles of decreasing radii. Right. Same downward. <coughs> so, so your this thing is marked somewhere here 11.3 degrees. Here, so so let me let me put a mark. This is your geographic north. I'm not putting a mark here. I'm putting a mark here at this point. Fine. Now, 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 what happens if say 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 this is a longitude, right? Now, if a, now it is not drawn on the drawn on the earth, right? It is drawn on the globe. So let us let us understand that way or let us understand that somehow through a laser or something you you draw that great circle longitude then what happens if this fellow knows that this is a longitude and it and, and this is the north of it and he he keeps on he keeps on this longitude where will he reach eventually he will eventually reach the north pole fine so so what i want to emphasize at this point is if I continue on this if I continue on this then then I go to the geographical north right geographical north now if I am having a compass and obviously these longitudes are not drawn on the earth that, that I'll start that I'll start following it fine so the way I the way the expeditions are done or explorations are done they are done with the help of the magnetic needle so but if i put my magnetic compass out here it will point in which direction it will point in this direction why because this is my magnetic knot that is magnetically this is the south pole so if for a person who is here for a person who is here his magnetic compass will point in this direction 
so that means if he if he goes by his magnetic compass then he'll reach this point this point right now you see this angle between the longitude and the direction of the magnetic needle is called is called the declination you understand when you are somewhere towards the equator and especially the fellow who is who is somewhere here located is somewhere here what happens the longitude also passes through this and his magnetic needle will also pass through that right so what happens his errors are very less okay compare that to this for example you start moving like here so somewhere here on the equator the error will become maximum and then it will start again dec decreasing right the, what happens suppose this fellow was not there he was here he was here what happens what happens the longitude will pass through this so 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 this is his geographic this is his longitude his magnetic needle will point in what direction this is it not you see this angle becomes the magnetic declination do we understand that and maybe someone is standing midway then while the geographic north is this his magnetic north is this so he will be maybe moving in this direction while the geographic north is actually this explorations are done by geographic north they have nothing to do with magnetic north so you understand the trouble as i start moving ahead above hmm, especially between these two points my errors they start becoming more and more and more fine now uh, you you understand as i as i start moving like this the error will not be much but i'll be led to believe that this is my this is my north i have reached the north pole while north pole will be some maybe a thousand kilometers still ahead you understand do we understand that what happens to a magnetic compass which comes on this magnetic south suddenly what will happen it will show no directions it will start freely moving like that correct and that is the indication that you have reached that pole provided you do not have any other magnetic distraction around any other magnetic field around any any maybe ferromagnetic permanent magnet mines around okay then it will start freely moving like this we understand so so this angle between the between the 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 magnetic south and the magnetic north and the and the geographic north is known as declination so so declination is the the angle between the angle between the angle between the longitudes at a given point and the direction of the magnetic needle is called declination <clears throat> now these people very well understand understood this this anomaly was understood by people so real exploration charts actually compensate for that you know they actually compensate for that in what way they will tell you whatever is the direction your magnetic needle shows you start moving maybe 10 degree 
15 degree, 20, depending on your where you are placed, right? Depending on your position, they are in a position to tell you at what angle you should move so that you'll go to the geographic north instead of the magnetic north, right? So that is quite possible and is simple, right? Okay, so, so that is what is called declination. Now I come to the inclination. This is declination, right? I come to inclination, which is also known as angle of dip. This is also called angle of dip. Okay, inclination. I'll again take this basketball to illustrate my point. See, what happens is this. This is my, this is where I had marked my magnetic north, which was actually magnetically south, right? So field lines are entering. Now, this is not, this is not a two-dimensional figure. So field lines are maybe entering like this, and this, and this, 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 this. Correct? And then they are going all, all the way into the earth and somewhere here, okay, somewhere here they are coming out. So let, let me mark that as well. So somewhere here they are coming out. So from here it is, it is kind of coming out like that and going that, like that. Coming out like this coming out like this, going like that, coming out like this, going like that, you see? Do we see that? It keeps on doing that. Now, the magnetic compass that you have normally seen has got a, a needle like this, a, a needle like this, and it is hinged here, right? It, it, it's kind of hinged like this, and the needle moves like this. Is it not? The needle is forced to move like this. Huh? If I hinge the, if I hinge it like this, what happens? It will be able to move up and down as well. Okay. It will be able to move up and down. Now let us try to understand. Suppose there is a magnetic line. in Towards the geographic south, I have the I have the, towards the geographic south, I have my magnet which is magnetically north. So from here things are coming out. So let us say a line is coming out like this and I place my, my, my new, the modified magnetic needle like this. How will it point? It will point like this. It will start making an angle with the earth surface. Okay. A person who is who is keeping it here, it will be something like this. This will also make an angle with the earth's surface. Maybe somewhere at the equator, it will be making no angle with the earth's surface. But as I start moving towards the, towards the geographical north, it will start dipping down. Okay? It will be actually following my, my magnetic field lines. So, this horizontal angle... The, the horizontal and, and the angle is actually the angle that the magnetic field makes with the with the plane surface with, with the plane right so the angle the angle between the magnetic field lines lines and the surface of the earth are called inclination I or the angle of dip. Okay? Obviously, the magnetic field lines will be originating in the North Pole. The 
magnetic field lines originate that is come out of the earth in the southern hemisphere is it not in the southern hemisphere come out of the earth in the southern hemisphere and and go into the earth in the northern hemisphere correct hemisphere so what happens if if that is what is happening then then my modified magnetic compass okay which is hinged which which is hinged horizontally right currently we had we had the magnetic compasses which are hinged vertically right that are hinged vertically so i am talking about the magnetic compass that is hinged horizontally what will happen there so okay so the northern hemisphere does a horizontally hinged a horizontally hinged does a horizontally hinged magnetic compass magnetic compass points points upwards is it not in southern hemisphere sphere and downward in northern hemisphere correct it will in the northern hemisphere 